All right, this past week I was preparing for a webcast on MSSQLTips.com related to security. And so for those of you who uh, want to touch up on some technical stuff, definitely suggest checking it out. It's still on their site. I believe you just provide your email and they'll send you a link to it. And um, so now that I'm back here on uh, SQL in 6, I, uh, I'm going to do a brief series. I'm going to put it under the tech powwow on NoSQL versus SQL and why I think this is a, a beyond stupid debate. Um, but it's it there's there's more and more uh, material on the internet about which one's better and and why this one's better than the other. That one's better than the other. And I expect this to continue because this is just what people do when they have too much time on their hands is they start talking about one or the other. Now I will admit I'm a little biased up front in that I am a middle child. So I'm between two extreme siblings, and I have a really, really bad case of Goldilocks syndrome, which um, for those of you who may not know, you can Google, by the way, Goldilocks. I think it's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Um, but it's a, it's a brief story about how, I actually don't remember how she got into the bear's house, but basically like there was a bowl of porridge that was too big and a bowl of porridge that was too small, and then there was one that was just right, and the same thing with beds and stuff. Basically, she was trying to look for something that was just right for her. And... So I have a bad case of that. I don't think that one solution is ever better than the other solution. Instead, I try to look at the situation and see what solution is applicable to that situation. So it's it's kind of like um, somebody, uh, you know, sitting there and saying, "Okay, so we can apply X to everything in life." As a case in point, you might have heard um, before people talk about, you know, life in moderation is good. That might be true, uh, at least in my belief, like at certain points of your life. I think when you're when you're young, you should test yourself as much as possible. I don't think life in moderation for a young person is wise at all, right? I think for a young person, yeah, go ahead, get out there and test yourself. On the flip side, once you get to a certain age, life in moderation or trying to go out and test yourself all the time might really have health consequences for you. So the thing is, is like one solution doesn't always work. Instead, it's looking at it and what works, which is, as some people would say, is a very pragmatic look at things. It's it's not about loyalty to one or the other. So I uh, in this channel, I cover MongoDB, which is a NoSQL solution, which is, I think, the fifth most popular database. I'm going to check right now. Um, and then I cover, obviously, SQL Server, and I believe that it is... Hold on a second. I believe it's the third most used database. So in the channel, I don't intend to really go that further out because if you understand SQL from SQL Server and if you grasp MongoDB, um, you will kind of have a strong background with either SQL or NoSQL. That's not to say that you can apply it to everything, um, but you can pick up. Yeah, so MongoDB is number five, and it doesn't look like you have another one in the top nine. Redis is 11. And then you have Cassandra, which is a wide column store, which is 10. And uh, But it looks like you know the top nine are all uh, SQL. So in general, people will say one or some, some people, I should say, not all, but some people will say, there are a few people out there that will try to argue one is a better solution. And they do this across the board. And so I'm going to be one of the few ones or one of the ones I should say that says, no, one is actually not better um, than the other. For the record, I'm getting this information from uh, on the popularity. Hold on, let me bring this over here. So I, I don't know how accurate this is. The ranking goes by like what they mine off the internet and you can see, um, so Microsoft SQL Server supposedly is number three and then MongoDB is number five. And you can see if we go down the top 20, um, which is funny, they're considering Splunk a database. I wouldn't consider Splunk a database at all. Huh. Anyway, so that's where I'm getting that information from. So over this next few videos, I'm just going to cover some, some applications of NoSQL, some applications of SQL, why I don't think one is better than the other. And my suggestion to people is to understand both and to also, when you look at a situation, think about what would apply in a situation instead of looking at it from this one is always good look at it from the situation perspective and say hey which one makes more sense in this situation and uh, and this series is going to be under the tech I, I call the playlist now the tech powwow and so we'll discuss that but i am in general not an extremist by one is better than the other 
And so on one hand, that doesn't make me popular in either community, but on the other hand, from a solution and application and engineering perspective, um, that's very useful because it's not about sides, it's about what works and what doesn't work.